Hello, I'm Jonathan Jackson for Civic Center TV. Today we're at the Imagine Theater in Novi, where we're celebrating a student film festival put on by the students at West Bloomfield High School. We're here at the Fire and Ice Festival in downtown Rochester, and as you can see behind me, there's a huge crowd out here tonight, also that they can take part in the fun ice sculptures, ice skating, and fireworks later tonight. The month of June is designated as Safety Month around the country, and here in West Bloomfield, our police department is taking the initiative to provide residents with a safety tool that they'll need, especially if they own a firearm. Well, our next story is on a resident who made a 6,000-mile journey just to live here within the township. His name is Waller and Ezin, and he shared with us his reason and experiences on moving from West Africa to West Bloomfield. The West Bloomfield Fire Department honors several firefighters from around the community for their service and bravery. But during its awards banquet last week, there was one civilian in the crowd who received special recognition for his own act of service. Back in 2008, a fire broke out at the Heckman Apartments located on Maple Road. It evacuated around 200 residents but injured none. And since then, the building has been rebuilt thanks to several donations and grants from within the community. But tragedy almost struck again eight years later. A resident reported a smell, so we instantly uh, went to try to see uh, where the smell was coming from. And, you know, I had, as soon as we had the smell, we, of course, we wanted to contact the fire department to, you know, because we never know what it is. They want us to contact them right away. Rather than panic, building supervisor Chris Thornton and a fellow maintenance tech took the initiative and performed proper procedure within the situation. At the time, we weren't thinking that. We were just wanted, I wanted to put it out. So, uh, you know, I extinguished it and I... Actually, I thought I had it completely out, but as we were getting the resident out, we turned around and we noticed the flames had picked back up. Fortunately, though, the fire didn't spread, and Chris's efforts helped prevent a far worse outcome than that which happened eight years ago. Well, what's different about this case is what Chris did, and it's exactly what we want you know, people in the community and people in the workplace to consider doing. If they see something, they say something. Um, when they see something, that they take some appropriate safe actions, and that's uh, well, that's one of the reasons why we recognized Chris. But as much as he appreciates the award, Chris says he was just doing his job. I was shocked. I was, I was surprised. When my administrator told me, um, I, I couldn't believe it. I mean, you know, I didn't, when I, you do things like that, you don't think about getting an award. You just want to make sure that the residents are safe. You know, that's my number one priority as the building supervisor there. What's even more amazing is the fact that Chris and the chief knew each other and are both supporters of the other as well. I remember Chris being in a class, and that's where I first met Chris. And so he was taking CPR classes, taking the, along with all the other staff. Um, I, you know, I talk to those guys all the time when they come out, and you know, they're the real heroes. They're at our building day in and day out. When a resident falls, they're there. You know, so they're, you know, we, we really appreciate the work that they do. For The Splash, I'm Jonathan Jackson. Welcome back to The Splash, everyone. I'm Jonathan Jackson, and my guest on the show this week is Channel 7 reporter Shelly Childers, who actually just recently moved to the area here in Sylvan Lake. So I'd like to start off by saying thank you for being here, and also welcome, Shelly. Of course, and thank you. <laughs> so tell me a little bit about what you do over at WXYZ. You are a morning reporter, correct? Yes, morning show reporter, so up overnight for the graveyard shift. To anybody would be, you know, so disheartening. But the thing about Alex watching the movie is his positive outlook on life. His, yeah. his attempts to make humor and even make light of such a heavy situation and that it hasn't gotten him down all oh, these yeah. years later. And I, I, I'm sure you've experienced that as well in your talks with him. Like, People just want to hug him. He's such a <laughs> funny, positive guy. I want to hug him. Yeah, I know. <laughs> he's, a, he's a great guy. I mean, you, you would have no idea that he ever had a bad day in his life. As we sit here today, there are five and four atop the uh, NFC North. Exactly. And even more interesting is the conversation on how Stafford is, you know, people are saying he's the next elite quarterback, one of the greatest that Detroit has ever had. Well, Would you agree with that? Well, he's the best Detroit has had since Bobby Lane, which mm. was before my time. Even. Yes, as, as well as mine. <laughs> but he, he has been terrific. And when they say elite, uh, they mean elite by pay. Yeah. And like we said, too, you, you shoot a lot of nature. And a lot, a lot of, of nature. There's a lot of nature here in West Bloomfield, too. The, Absolutely. The parks and the trails. And, uh, you know, tell me a little bit about that, your nature experience. Well, you know? believe it or not, I used to live in Sylvan Lakes. I used to take the rail to trails all the way through West Bloomfield. Oh, and okay. I would see deer, fox. Now I hike. Mm-hmm with cameras. So I gave up the bicycle and now I'm hiking with two, three cameras. <laughs> That's and, even more, yeah, yeah, and I'm shooting shiniest, yeah. nature documentaries. Look, she's posing right now. She's like, how's everybody doing? <laughs> Look at that. She, the, she's camera friendly. Yes, That's the, that's yeah, the thing. She's, <laughs> she is not shy of the camera. She just comes out, you know, she's not afraid. She loves the music. She, you know, she lets hundreds of kids pet her a day. 
So that's kind of the magic of what we do. That's when Kids Kicking <laughs> Cancer was born. That's amazing. Yeah, I mean, all about martial arts is teaching you how to breathe properly. In it's order breath, to, it's yeah, empowerment, it's, it's yeah. meditative, it's a focus. Mm -hmm. And because the kids believe in the martial arts, we can get into their heads quickly, yeah. and we can now evidence, based on medical science, mm -hmm. that we are lowering these children's pain.